Buying off the plan doesn't always go to plan. Put yourself in average Joe's shoes. He spent a good chunk of the first years of his working life avoiding weekend brunches and a decent social life to save up enough money for a deposit. By 2016, his savings were starting to look good. He found a two-bedroom apartment in a brand new development for $650,000. He handed over a 10% deposit to the developer, signed on the dotted line and kept on saving for the next two years. By 2018, his apartment is ready, so he's off to get a loan to settle the purchase. But home prices in Australia have fallen about 3% in the last year and by even more in some areas. The bank thinks Joe's apartment is now only worth $600,000, leaving a $50,000 shortfall. So average Joe needs to try to find the extra cash from somewhere or find a bank that will lend him the money. If he can't get the cash, he might be forced to sell the apartment before it's finished. In a worst-case scenario, he could be sued by the developer if he can't meet his contractual obligation.